தேவம் சத்குரும் பிரம்ம வித்வரம் வசுதேவ சுதம் தேவம் கம்சானூரமர்தனம் தேவகி பரமானந்தம் கிருஷ்ணம் வந்தே ஜகத்குரும் தமேவ மாதா ச பிதத்தமேவ தமேவ பந்துஷ சகத்தமேவ தமேவ வித்யாதவிடம் தமேவ தமேவ சர்வம் மம தேவ தேவ தமேவ சர்வம் குருதேவ தேவ ஹரி ஓம் வி ஆர் டூயிங் தி த ஃபோர்டீன் சாப்டர் ஆஃப் பஞ்சதசி அண்ட் வேர் இட் டாக்ஸ் அபவுட் தி பிரம்மானந்தே வித்யானந்தா we are not talking about any vidya vidya means knowledge and we are not talking about any vidya because there is real vidya is only one all other vidya vidya means knowledge any other knowledge is not really knowledge if you go to google and ask what is knowledge it cannot define it can only define knowledge of knowledge of what knowledge of some objectifiable entities knowledge of this knowledge of chemistry knowledge of physics knowledge of biology and so on and this is all the knowledge that they can think of because only objectifiable entities a scientist discover is or scientists think that an uh, objective scientist think that that's all that is to be known and any other things that are about subject that which they cannot investigate using the objective tools and it becomes a belief system because each subject is different and therefore they think that there is no reality to it or cannot be analyzed so they think it is everything else assumptions which they cannot test is only belief system whereas the vedanta is a real science because it tells you that only reality is brahman other things only mithya so in the in the bhamananda valli the shloka is is brahma satyam jagan mithya jeevo brahmaiva naparaha that's what essentially we are doing with and there is anena vedyam tat shastram and iti vedanta dindi maha so what is the real science real science is that alone is a real science because everything else is really a science of false entities so false entities false knowledge is a false knowledge is also false or knowledge of the false entities also neg- can be negated once i need once i know what is real so until i don't know real i take false as a real so until i don't know that it is a rope i take the snake that i feel is real and therefore i am my heart is uh, pounding and i'm afraid and all that are as real as the snake that i see even though it's a rope because i do not know the truth i take the false as a real and the same way i do not know the truth which is brahman i take all other things that apparent truth are real and go by that and all these sufferings and all that coming from that so suffering is at the level of the the sthula sariram sukshma sariram and kara sariram or karana sarira so the sthula sarira because of dhatu vaishamyam because of imbalance of the in three ingredients according to ayurveda so one gets diseases and that is at the physical level so that is a sharirik problem body problem not your problem atma doesn't have any problem it's only shariram but identifying tadatmyam with the shariram then superimpose the body problem as my problem so everybody complains that i have this problem i have that problem i cannot have any problem because body's problem is taken as my problem body will have a problem when there's an imbalance also as one ages the imbalance becomes natural and things will keep changing because there is no stability in that and you try to take medication to balance it medication in ayurveda is to balance back again all the three ingredients but anyway once you understand that i am not the body by advaita ananda margena and once i recognize then i have no more the enjoyment in the objects neither i assume that there are pleasure in the object nor there is an experience or validity at the three levels only and therefore neither bhogyam nor the nor the bhokta both are not really real is understood 
therefore then punyam papam also has no meaning is going to be discussed in the next sloka number 12 punya papa padvaye chinta punya papa padvaye chinta dukkham amushmikam bhave dukkham amushmikam bhave prathama adhyaya evo uktam prathama adhyaya evo uktam chinta nainam tapej tapedita chinta nai nainam tapedita prakara punya papa padvaye chinta दुखमाुष्मिकं भवे प्रथमाध्याय चिंता नयन तपेदिता सो पुण्य पाप मेरीट्स एंड डिमेरिट्स वै आर यू बॉन्ड यू आर बॉन्ड बिकॉज ऑफ वॉट हैव यू डन इन द पैस्ट दट इज कॉल्ड धर्म धर्म मीन्स बोथ पुण्य एंड पापम दट्स वॉट यू कैरी विथ यू एंड दैट्स दि ओनली थिंग दट यू कैरी विथ यू एंड नॉट एनी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अदर थिंग्स यू हैव टू लीव एवरीथिंग only that travels with you is your dharma and you go to another loka where you exhaust the next set of vasanas depending upon the nature of the vasanas if the punya vasanas or a papa vasanas punya vasanas will take you to higher lokas papa vasanas will go will take you to lower lokas the loka the field of experience depends upon the nature of punya papam so i want to do punyam so that i can go to higher lokas so the chinta the worry about accumulating good merits so that i can go to heavens and enjoy and that's essentially all religions think that you have to go to heaven enjoy because there is no enjoyment here so how do you go to heaven i say my path is only way other paths will not take you and people force their path on top of others and that's what we have a the conversions and going on going on but anyway punya papa dvaya ha chinta so the worry about the punya and papam the merits and amushmikam because in the other world that the next world that i am going to go depends upon my quota of punyam in relation to the papam so in one of my talks i was telling that the husband and wife and the way is the wife gets half punyam from the husband so whatever punyam he does and he gets half of she she gets half of it and she doesn't give any of her punyam to him it's a very strange story this is a provided of course the clause is there and the wife the the husband from wife only takes punyam half of punyam and but does not share the papam and she does not share the his papam he has to keep his papam whereas only she takes half of his punyam only whereas the husband from the husband point he takes half of her papam but he cannot touch her punyam this looks like a very unfair the unfair so called unfair is to ensure that the wife has to make sure that husband only does the punyam so that she can get half of it and the the wife the, the husband has to make sure she, that she doesn't get, commit any papam otherwise he will has to take half of it so that's how the balance works <laughs> so when i told the husband was really worried there was a couple that was listening to that the husband got very really worried about this problem and from then on he was make sure that she doesn't commit any any sins so that's good punya papa dvayo chinta dukkham amushmikam bhave so amushmikam in the higher worlds the where you go next depends upon what you are accumulating how did you come here depending upon the past punyam and papam since you are already here now your quota worried about the the next life punya papa dvayo chinta dukkham amushmikam bhave prathama adhyaya evo uktam and this has been discussed exhaustively in the first chapter of panchadasi evo uktam chinta anainam tapedita so this the chinta na so the the uh, about the the suffering and all that troubles is in the prathama adhyayam is has been discussed exhaustively but once who know enam once who know the self once who understood that i am none of this so this will not affect me because i have nothing to do with it therefore that enam those who know the self chintana therefore there is no sufferings at all so tabit tabit troubles are not there na there not be any troubles with respect to the 
punyam and papam. So what happened to the punyam that you have committed? What happened to the papam? I said, I don't care because I have never done anything. This is akartaham, abhoktaham, amivaham, and I am never a doer. So in the past I thought I am body and did it. Now I don't, I don't even own that because I am beyond the papa punyam that belongs to the time. I am beyond the time itself and therefore that is untouched by me. But it will affect only those who are in the realm of transactional world, not for the jnani. So enam chintana. So for him there is no, there is no worry about the punya papam. How is that? And he is going to give an example here in the next sloka. Yada pushkara pa Yatha Pushkara Parnaismin Yatha Pushkara Parnaismin Napamaslesha Nam Yatha Napamaslesha Sesha Nam Tatha Veda Nat Urdham Agami Veda Nat Urdham Agami Karmanoslesha Nam Bude Karmanoslesha Nam Bude Together Yatha Pushkara Pushkara Paranismin Napama Slesha Namtata Veda Nath Urdhum Agami Karma No Slesha Nambude So Yatha, just as Asmin Pushkara Pushkara Parne Asmin Pushkara Parne So Parne is a leaf Asmin Pushkara This lotus leaf Asmin is showing some lotus leaf So this lotus leaf Lotus is a very peculiar the uh, plant. It grows in the mud and provides. And in the muddy water, you see the push, the the lotus leaves and the lotus flower. And the lotus flower is glorified in the in the in our Hindu scriptures. And the Lakshmi stands in the lotus flower. Saraswati is in the lotus flower. Everything is lotus. And the Krishna is in the lotus. And Vishnu is in the lotus. So why is so much of lotus? Says lotus is where you are in the middle of the butt uh, of the mud, but still you are unaffected by the surroundings. That is untouched by the surroundings. That is a jnani. So here, that's essentially is talking about the the leaf of the of the of the of the lotus leaf. Yatha, just as na apam na pa na apam na apam not apam na apam so apaha is the not the water asleshanam sticking so the dirty water doesn't stick to the to the lotus leaf it has a some glassiness therefore the water will not wet the flower so therefore it's untouched by the by the water whether it's a dirty or clean, it doesn't care because it's unaffected by the water. So this lotus leaf, na apam, not water oscillationam, is not sticking. Tada vedanat urdham. So in the same way, after gaining the knowledge that I am the self by the study of the Vedanta and contemplating on that, Bude in the wise people, agami karmani oscillationam. So in the the aga, the what is going to come? Aga means the the future karmas. So we have the total sanchita karma, of which prarabdha karma that is already rectified, that one is going through, and agami karma that is the, that is going to be in the future stock that will be coming. Whatever I do will be. If I do, cannot experience now, it will be put into my account. So nothing will be wasted. All the actions will be there. So that agami, what's going to happen with the future? The jiva, the, the, the jnani doesn't care for it anymore because he has understood that I am never a doer. Even in the past that without knowing that I had a notion that I was a doer. Not really doer. I had a notion that I was a doer. That notion is gone. Not that I was doer, doer in the past. Therefore, now I don't do it. No, it's not that way. I was never a doer, neither in the past, in the present or future. Therefore, it doesn't affect me at all. That is the Vedanath Urdham Agami Karmanaha Sleshanam Bude. So, a knower knows that I am 
अफेक्टेड सो दिस इज अकर्ताहम अभोक्ताहम अहमेवाहम अव्ययः दैट इज द नेचर ऑफ द ज्ञानी 14 श्लोक आई ऐहिकातृणतुल्यतृणतूल ऐहिकातृणतूल से वक्दाह वक्दाह तथा संचितकर्मा से तथा संचितकर्मा से दग्धम भवे वेदना दग्धम भवे वेदना इन द अदर इन द प्रीवियस श्लोक is talking about the agami karma what about the sanchita karma these are the two prarabdha karma is already has come so we are talking about the future karma uh, that is going to come agami like whatever i do that will be posted in, into the account and there also what about my total account which is sanchita karma in the case of agami he is not worried because he has transcended now he is talking about even the sanchita karma so सो इशिका इशिका नॉट इशिका तृणतुल्य तूलस्य सो यथा जस्ट एस इशिका तृणतुलस्य सो इन दी 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 ग्रास वूली फ्लावर्स ऑफ द ग्रास सम सम काइंड ऑफ ग्रास फ्लावर्स सो इशिका तृणी तूलस्य सो दैट इज इशिका इशिका ग्रास क्षणात वक्निदाहा इज बर्न्ड बिकॉज दे आर very 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 small and dry so when when the fire comes immediately it gets burned chanat vakni daha is burned instantaneously as soon as it came in contact with the fire so because of its dryness and because of its very brittle and it's instantaneously it burn gets burned so chanat vahi vakni daham daha so is burned by the fire instantly तदा इन द सेम वे अस्या अस्या सो जस्ट एस दि इन द इन द केस ऑफ अ वाइज पर्सन आल्सो संचित कर्मा गेट्स बर्न इमीडिएटली एज सून एज कॉन्टैक्ट विद दैट सो ज्ञान बाय द नॉलेज ऑल कर्मास गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड इज व्हाट द भगवदगीता कृष्ण आल्सो सीज सी सर्वकर्मा ऑल एक्शंस आर बिकॉज वॉट इज ज्ञानम ज्ञानम इज आई एम नेवर डू ये सो वॉट कैन अफेक्ट हि अंडरस्टूड दट हि नेवर नॉट दट हि इज क्लेमिंग दट एवर नेवर डू ये विदउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इट्स एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग दट ई नेवर डू ये स्टोरी इन दिन दपनिषद्स ऑफ सम महाभारत भारत सो वन फेलो अंडरस्टूड सम वेदांत वॉट इज दट एवरीथिंग इज डन बाय दि बाय दि टोटल that is i am not really do here i am the 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 lord indra is doing everything because he is the controller indra means the intellect so intellect he is the controller so he is doing everything so he was committing some sin and improper things and somebody say why are you doing he says i am not doing it indra is doing so indra had this fellow using this knowledge in the wrong way so then later when he was doing a very great things then he was claiming that he is a doer so who did this oh i did it this so indra came say you fellow says why did you i don't to say that indra did it so only for a papam indra did it for punyam i did it that's called half baked knowledge so here he says everything is done not by me so who does it who, who to whom it belongs it belongs to whoever did it so who who did it says prakutchaiva ja karmani kremanani sarvasah ya pasadi tadatmanam akartaram sa pasyati so it is krishna says prakruti eva ja karmani prakruti does all the work unnecessarily i go and claim that i am a doer and then suffer consequence of that so once i am a gyani he says i never do it i see prakruti is doing it and i have nothing to do with it and if i can guide prakruti because my adyakshena prakruti hi suyati sacharacharam so under my adyaksha the prakruti can follow so if i can redirect the prakruti do properly that's a separate issue but still i am not responsible for it 
because prakriti itself is doing so action belongs to the prakriti and therefore results also belong to the prakriti so i neither claim a doership nor the enjoyership also that is the real knowledge so just as it gets burned the all the sanchita karmas are gets burned because of the of the knowledge itself tada sanchita karmasya dagdham bhavati vedana vedana the one who knows that i aham brahmasmi he does not get affected because he also knows that he is not a doer he doesn't claim that i am a doer that's not a vedana vedana is i never did anything akartaham abuktaham so he has no account balance because he never did anything so his accounts are zero only it belongs to the the to prakriti only so I give me example different example another example from the the gita he is taking yadhai ramsi samidhognihi yadhai ramsi samidhognihi basmasat purutirjuna basmasat kurutirjuna ज्ञानाग्नि सर्व कर्माणी ज्ञानाग्नि सर्व कर्माणी बस्मसात कुरुते तथा बस्मसात कुरुते तथा गदर यथा दांसि समुद समिद्धोग्निः बस्मसात कुरुते अर्जुना ज्ञानाग्नि सर्व कर्माणी बस्मसात कुरुते तथा नाउ स्वामी जारणे सर इज कोटिंग द गीता श्लोक to justify what what he says this is from the gita fourth chapter and 37th shloka it says yatha yadai ram si so arjuna samiddhi agni samiddhagno agni basmat kuruche just as the the blazing fire samiddhi samiddha agni blazing fire the yatha ram si the all the fuel gets burn in no time so basmasad burnt to ashes kurute just as goes that tatha jnana agnihi so in the same way by the the fire of knowledge sarva karmani basmasad kurute all actions get burned away here in not only one in one word krishna talks about everything here sarva karmani and both includes the agami karma as well as sanchita karma they get burned burned into ashes as a miss the the leftover things has no effect anymore that's what is called ash that's what is people apply in the in the saivit supply ash on the floor what does ash of playing floor is is uh, why does lord shiva applying ash all over the place because all the actions are burned out through the knowledge itself that's why his third eye is burning it's called fire of knowledge in the fire of knowledge all kama sar burned out so kama deva these are stories from the kama deva gets burned by he, when he opens the third eye third eye is gyana chakshu same way a gyani opens his third eye that is a gyanam when he realizes that aham brahmasmi then all things is burned out so gyanagni sarva karmani basmasat purute tatha in the same way arjuna so the the firing the the blazing fire burns out any fuel the same way all karma sa gets burned out bhagavan ramanuja uses the example of a cotton and fire a setting of a fire in the dry cotton the whole thing gets burn, burned out so however big the sanchita karma is because we have done the the life after life after life so much of things everything gets burned out and because there is no more punar janma for a gyani because he has realized that i am not this and i am the total therefore there is no sanchita karma that is propelling him to be born again in some other place because everything is burned out so therefore there is no cause for his birth also and therefore there is no janma from then on janma rahitya means it can only by knowledge only one can reach that state that's all implied here number 16 yasya naham kruto bhavah yasya naham kruto bhavah 
बुद्धिर्यस्यनालिप्यते बुद्धिर्यस्यनालिप्यते हत्वापि स इमान लोकान हत्वापि स इमान लोकान न हंति न न हंति न बिज्जते न हंति न निबद्धते निबद्धते सो द तो कहते हैं यस्य न हम कुतो बाबा हाँ बुद्धिर्यस्य न लिप्यते हत्वापि न स इमान लोकान न हंति न निबद्धते सो यस्य आहंकुतस्सा आहंकुता हाँ to whom that is to jnani ahankutaha means ahankara is bhavaha na so there is no notion that i am a doer that means doership notion is not there so he may take the role of a doership so if you ask the uh, shankaracharya have written the bhasha he says i have written in fact they say when i am writing this and so on so is there not ego ego there says he has to play the role of a a a a, a teacher when he is when he is doing but that is only for transactional purposes but absolutely he has no notion that he is really doing so karmani akarmaya pasyetu when the action is going on that means he doesn't stop acting so the body mind and intellect will be going according to the swasanas so he has to do because if the teaching is the vasanas of the body mind intellect he continues to teach and so who oh, oh, is teaching and he may say i am teaching also but at the same time he is not teaching so by karmani akarma yapaschetu tha buddhiman he is the one who is a buddhiman who is the one who is a jnani so yasya naham kruto vavah so the ahankara yasya ahankrutah na bhavah there is no ahankara is not there so they no say akarta hum that's what uh, there is no kartrutto bhavam is not there i am a doer notion is not there so ahankara ha bhavah na yasya buddhihi na lipyate the buddhi the mind is not be affected or perturbed by that saha iman lokan to 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 to, the, to this people in this world hatyapi even if he kills it's very strange here nahanti he does not kill na nibajjate and it's a uh, is not suffered by the action so it's a very interesting to say that so because a gnani if he kills he doesn't really kill what do you mean his body is dead there Yeah, body. So you want to arrest him? Arrest him? What is what happens to arrest him? So he is suffering because he killed. He doesn't suffer. He doesn't kill. Body killed and body gets suffered. So he, even though you may put the body of the Mahatma in the prison and give all the lashes that you think as a punishment to the body, because the body performed something illegal, doesn't mean that the jnani knows that I have never done before and I am not suffering. Also, he doesn't say I am suffering. I didn't do, but I am suffering. It's not that way either. So he has neither he can handi nor he undergoes the suffering as a result of the action performed by the prakriti. Prakriti has done it. Prakriti will suffer also. So suffering is also by the prakriti only. So prakriti cheva cha karmani krema nani sarvasha. So it is a doer as well as enjoyer also. So both are belong to the same level of order of reality. Don't get confused here because he is suffering now because he didn't do it. He doesn't suffer also because his mind is somewhere else. That is a real jnanam, and that's what has to be. And this is a discussed in the in the sloka fourteen eighteen of the Bhagavad Gita. So here this reference is given so that what Vijayan says, what I'm saying is what is scripture says only. With this we stop here and go to the next level for the next talk. Om Purnamada. पूर्णमीद पूर्ण पूर्ण मुदच्छते पूर्णस्य पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओ